Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Hope you all are having a blessed Monday, start of the week. Uh, just trying to uh, do a little smudging, bring in some some good energy, good vibes to the table. And these are not pearls. These are my uh, Buddhist prayer beads. I uh, will show you them in a little bit. I've showed them once before, but I was just looking at the screen, and they look like poils. And it's like, <laughs> I don't have no poils. <laughs> but, you know, it's a, beaut a, beaut a Buddhist. It's, it's a Buddhist prayer bead set. So I should be shuffling as I'm talking. Been working on that video. Almost have it done and ready to release. Just on the last few moments of uh, post-production tweaking. So it will come out today. It will be called the Tree of Life. But, uh, yeah, I'm calling it the Tree of Life. And it uh, should be out this afternoon. Not too long after this video gets released. go now your card of the day is it is the reversed ten of blades now for the ten of blades the element is air the astrological association is mercury and virgo Numerological association is 10. Tree of life position is Malkuth, the kingdom, the sphere of experience. And the key meaning is endings. Now, this, uh, this card is a warning card. And while the traditional meaning of it is ruin, and this sounds fight frightening, it does not, however, mean death or destruction. It is also worth bearing in mind that this event, although sudden, has a history. This is not an act of God like lightning strike, uh, but the natural outcome of a accumulation of events that leads to inevitable change. This ending clears the way for new possibilities, and you may find the finality of it releases you from frustration and stress. In your personal life, bonds of friendship may break, possibly because this person betrays you or stabs you in the back, and there may be no turning back. This, unfortunately, is unavoidable, but with hindsight, you may see that certain people in the group were causing discord and stress. In love relationships, the card signifies a dramatic ending. However, the Ten of Swords often applies to a group of people rather than individuals. In work, this may be a manifest as the closure of a department accompanied by job loss or a failing business. On a more positive note, this is the end of an era. Soon the strife and upset will be over. Health issues such as low energy and exhaustion will improve. This is also a card of sadness and loss it uh, represents the ultimate end of a cycle or situation and not only have you lost the battle you have all also lost the war it serves as a reminder that nobody comes out on top 100 percent of the time it's impossible and not worth trying to change this fact this card like the death card 
is about succumbing to your defeat in order to begin again as something else. You can't start over if you're holding on to something that doesn't fit in with your new life. Acknowledge the pain you feel about the ending and get ready to let it go. Keywords here are defeat, the end, cycle, succumb, letting go, sadness, and loss. So while, yes, this is kind of a, a downer card, it's just a type of change and something new is going to begin. New and exciting and all that other fun stuff. But just to see... I'm going to throw in a Gilded Reverie card. It's a Le Normand. So uh, let's see what they have to say about things. You have the compass. Now this is an indicator of the direction one is meant to go. It can represent someone or something that provides guidance and helps direct you toward a goal. This card urges you to examine the point or focus on your undertaking. Look where the needle is pointed. This card advises you not to proceed blindly without a direction. Know where you are going but also why you are going and what you expect to find. The compass card represents the many things that can guide you on your path. This path is a reminder to notice and heed the signs and symbols you might see along the way. The compass may also point to feedback other people offer you. Listen to your gut to determine who might be the true north and who might be too eager to give advice and seek control. You can listen to other suggestions, but you do not always have to follow it. So what I think this is saying, okay, someone's going to betray you. It's going to come out of the blue, I think. Someone or some people, you're going to be betrayed. Something's going to happen. A big major change is coming for you. Be prepared. Be prepared for whatever emergency that might come up, whatever event might happen. Try to take stock of things and look for an exit strategy. Have that ready. All right? You might not be given a whole lot of time. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. But there we go. Now, let me show you. I've said you all once, but uh, these are my Buddhist prayer beads. They were another steal I got. I thought they were so cool. Besides, it's tacky to read fortunes with pearls. <laughs> Who ever heard of such a thing? Look for that video to be coming out later today. I promise. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. Have a blessed Monday. And until tomorrow. Bye-bye.